Hi YouTube, my name is Lydia and if you watch my uh, 4C natural hair journey video then you know that this video is the start of the fifth year of my natural hair journey in which I am going to be starting locks. Um, and uh, just some info about me, I live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which is about an hour and a half north of Chicago. And um, I keep looking off screen because I have some notes that I will remember. Um, I went natural in March of 2010 and um, I'm starting my locks with two strand twist on Saturday, June 7th, 2014. And um, also I'm recording this on my iPhone. Maybe at some point in time I'll get a tripod I don't know um, but why I'm starting my locks is because the longer my hair has gotten the longer it takes to detangle for me to detangle shampoo condition and then do two strand twist takes about five hours and I try to see if I can move like any faster and it still takes a long time and I'm just like you know, I've experienced having my hair out and loose and I enjoy it, but I'm just ready to go ahead and lock it up for convenience sake. So I've had my, um, I had my hair in twist for three months, not this set, but I had my uh, hair in twist for three months prior to this. So it kind of just gave me a little bit of a feeling what it would be like to have my hair in a protective style and uh, not be able to change it. So um, I'll do a quick length check so you can see I don't measure my hair so I don't know how long exactly it is but that's where the front is and that's where the side is and grab a piece of the back that is where the back is and this is where my bra strap is right there so that's the length of my hair and um, I'll show you my parts as well so you just see what the parts look like my loctician says she kind of wanted to go for a medium size lock so to speak because my hair is so thick if I went too small the amount of twists I'd have to have on my head it looked like a mop um, not the twist but once the locks start to mature it kind of look like a mop on top of my head and you wouldn't really be able to appreciate the individuality of each lock so um, and also, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the YouTube vloggers that I follow and subscribe to that have really been inspirational for me to start my lock journey. I'm going to pull up my little list here. Um, Cheska Locks, of course, just the quality of her videos and her candor and she's just funny and I think all around talented. Um, Haitian Honey, I love watching her videos. Her hair is gorge, um, just so thick and strong. And those edges are laid, honey. Love those. Um, Jasmine Rose, I also enjoy watching her. Loving the natural me. She's in, right now she's in the first year of her natural hair journey. And I've just really enjoyed watching someone go through the process and the ups and downs and just being transparent about her experience. Miss Caressa, I've enjoyed watching her too. Pretty Poison 27, started her two strand twist herself and um, just great to watch as well. And then Who is Sugar, who doesn't have locks right now, had them at one point in time, but she was really, between Who is Sugar and uh, Rustic Beauty, those were the two first natural hair YouTube channels that I subscribed to and watched faithfully. So um, shout out to those vloggers. As for the frequency of my videos, I'll be posting uh, videos my goal is like once a month just to show the progress of my locks. I guess if I have something interesting to talk about that I want to share, I might post a little bit more frequently. And as for the maintenance of my locks, right now I'm going to keep going to my loctician once a month. Uh, I'll be shampooing my hair in between that and styling it myself. But as far as the maintenance for retwist um, of the new growth, I'll be going to the loctician for that. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my natural hair journey video and hopefully you'll subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.